let's not allow feminism to swallow our female energy education monday education monday on the tribal root studio with alina zahil changing mindsets in africa making a world better together we can make a difference we are fixing africa education monday education monday ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the tribal root studio my name is alina zahi broadcasting from uganda ishaka Bushenyi district how is everyone you know we always wish you the best and we always want to inspire you we want to educate you we want to make you stronger we want to strengthen your results and make sure you are on the right path as an african child straight from the tribal roots studio so today i'm going to speak about the danger in feminism Everyone must have heard about uh, women uh, fronting feminism and even some men calling themselves feminists. And from the Tribal Roots Studio, we would like to uh, give a very, a very uh, defined way uh, to what feminism is about. Feminism for us is a response to all the things that have gone wrong in society. Feminism is like a rebellion for the things that we haven't done, the things we should have done as women. The danger that we see in feminism in this day is that feminism could be trying to take over the real female energy, the real female energy that the world needs. When we come to Africa, we see that from our past and from the ancient and from all the, the good things we've had in the past where women were helping their societies to grow, we didn't have any women standing on podiums and saying, I am a woman, I am a strong woman. We didn't have that. We didn't have women trying to validate their strength by proclaiming how strong they are. We had women builders, we had women fixers of the problems, we had women problem solvers. And you would not need to tell the world how feminist you are. Your actions would show. So the danger is in feminism is that it is taking over the real female energy, the African female energy, and actually scaring away those women that are supposed to be building our societies, building our communities, and building our nations. Because every time they will stand out to speak about it, every time they will stand out to do things, to make a difference, they will be labeled feminist. So, I'm going to give us I'm going to give us uh, some names of great women of Africa, great women from the past who really were instrumental in building African communities and in solving problems in those days. Ya Asantewa. You've heard about her or you haven't, but we are telling you about her. The queen from the ancient Ashanti kingdom of Ghana uh, Queen Mohomza, that was uh, Western Uganda, and uh, uh, everyone knows Winnie Mandela, uh, Winnie Madikzela Mandela, and then we have Queen Kogere, that was also the Queen of uh, Busongora Kingdom, that is also in the mountains, foothills of the mountains of the moon, exactly, and then Queen Zinga, and Queen Zinga. Uh, you need to read about her and then you probably have heard about the Dahomey Amazons. So the point today is we are mentioning these queens and we are paying homage to these queens because these were the women that stopped war. These were the women that defeated enemies that were attacking their areas. These were the women that helped fix the hunger problems. These were the women that made sure their communities were in order. 
but these women didn't go anywhere fighting for women rights and talking about I am a woman, I am a black woman, I am strong and talking about I don't need men, I don't need what. That was not how we lived in the ancient Africans. Women and men complemented each other on the roads. Building was for both of us. Building was so orderly. So we have lost the order in this day where women, instead of showing their brain power, instead of showing their world what they can do, what their brain power can produce for the communities, they are showing their butt, they are showing their breasts, they are showing the, 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 everything about their bodies. And that is the only thing they are left to sell to the world. Which is a very big disappointment, which is a very big embarrassment to our forefathers, to our four great queens of Africa. As we take over again, as we take a charge of our situation again, as Africans from the Tribal Root Studio, we would like to put our women on a path to once again realize that we need them so much in this day. We need them to fix us. We need them to fix Africa. We need them to build our homes. We need them to give peace to our, our men. We need them to raise the kings. In one of the episodes, I'm going to speak about how to create, how to raise a king. So everything that we see, every mess that we want to blame the men for, is our creation. If we want to blame the men for anything, we have to remember that we raise them, we give birth to them, we raise them, whatever they do and whatever that is coming from them that is not nice is our own creation. We impart the values, we impart the principles, we groom, we raise. So in our day, we would like, actually, we would like to see our women exercise their female energy to build us, to build our communities, to fix us, to solve all the problems. Let's not allow feminism to swallow our female energy, to swallow our pride, to swallow our greatness, to swallow our strength. And let us see more women standing up to use their brain power, their natural characteristics, to use their, their strength to make sure we can fix Africa. Once again, this is the Tribal Root Studio. My name is Alina Zahir. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. And please also remember to hit the notification button because we don't want you to miss out on anything. We have a Facebook page as well. You can contact us by WhatsApp. Check in the comments below. And I wish you blessings and peace.